Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Just completed my one month trip in four different countries and today I would like to talk about my experience with the Scotia Passport Visa Infinite Credit Card. Now I would like to apologize for uh, the dark uh, environment because today is a cloudy day and I couldn't uh, make it better than uh, what it looks right now but uh, I'll be showing you some transactions on the screen and I'll add some uh, scenes from uh, different countries as well so you don't going to be looking at me for uh, too long so my primary credit card was Kosia Passport Visa Infinite and uh, stack uh, prepaid MasterCard uh, because these two cards uh, do not charge any foreign transaction fee so in countries like uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, and Singapore, I uh, used a Scotia Passport Visa Infinite. And in uh, Malaysia, I used uh, mainly a stack uh, prepaid MasterCard because uh, you know I knew how much I had uh, available in that card. And I also used a Scotia Passport Visa Infinite if it's a very established uh, merchandise or if it's a very established merchant or if it's a well-known uh, company. But if I feel like, you know, I'm not comfortable using my Scotia passport, uh, which had a lot of uh, great uh, availability. And then I used a pass a stack uh, prepaid uh, MasterCard. In the past, when I used a credit card in a foreign country, uh, I came across the situation that you know the credit card blocked me right away, thinking uh, it was a fraudulent transaction. But over the years, the system that detects uh, fraudulent activities. Uh, it has improved a lot and uh, these days they just work like artificial intelligence so uh, whenever you're doing a transaction uh, it knows that whether it's you or not uh, based on the patterns and different uh, analytics so now it's a lot easier uh, to do for transactions with credit cards and uh, it's much safer as well because the system is able to detect uh, or stop uh, right away and uh, another thing that credit cards, uh, credit card companies added that in the past you have to uh, notify them uh, when you're traveling uh, foreign countries and you have to actually tell them that you're going to be in these countries and they would like you know unblock for those countries or they would uh, block it for other countries except those countries you mentioned. But now actually most credit cards uh, you don't have to notify them uh, when you're traveling because the artificial intelligence like the system uh, can uh, know whether it is an, uh, you or not uh, because it has actually a fraction of seconds to analyze the transaction when you're putting through the transaction then based on uh, different factors and scenarios uh, the card either approves or disapproves so the system has actually improved a lot than uh, uh, in the past and it's uh, very intelligent right now so during my one month four countries i never uh, came uh, or ran into any problem with the scotia passport was infinite never blocked me it was there's never a problem so which is a good thing and uh, also i saved a lot of money uh, on uh, foreign transaction fees because this card uh, does not charge any foreign transaction fee which is a standard for canadian credit cards uh, at 2.5 percent so i'm going to show you some uh, transactions and uh, on the screen and then you can uh, look at them and also i'm going to uh, as i'm posting all my videos from my uh, one month travel it's gonna take me a while to finish all these videos but i'll be doing uh, credit card and other videos in between as well until uh, and uh, then you know until my next trip comes uh, you'll be seeing uh, videos from uh, these four countries so my overall uh, experience with the scotia passport uh, visa infinite uh, foreign transactions uh, it's uh, satisfactory I never ran across uh, or came into any problem and then uh, never had any situation I never had to call them so my transactions were actually uh, various uh, starting from a couple of dollars to 500 uh, 600 dollars so it ranges uh, a wide it had a wide range uh, from small to larger amounts and still I had no problem so which is a good thing because you know this is the worst thing uh, could happen to you when you are uh, putting the transaction in a foreign country and it blocks you then you need to call them uh, to unblock the transaction so uh, thanks that nothing uh, no such things uh, happened to me and uh, this card 
is a good card as you know for transaction fee to use in foreign transaction uh, transactions uh, because you know the the system that uh, let you go through those uh, transactions uh, seems to be working fine and i never had any issue so that's all of i wanted to talk about and i like to also mention that uh, I had uh, experience with my uh, stack credit card in other countries. I owe true money, and I'm going to be uh, doing a separate post on that whether uh, those transactions charge me a ATM uh, and ATM withdrawal fees or not. So there's going to be a separate post coming up. But until then, uh, keep watching the travel videos I have for you. I have a variety of videos ranging uh, from a d on uh, different topics from. Australia, Singapore, uh, New Zealand, and uh, Malaysia. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe now, and I'll see you shortly. Thank you.